Hello, third graders. This week in grammar, we're looking at abbreviations. And as I zoom in a little bit, it says an abbreviation is a shortened form of a word. Many abbreviations begin with a capital letter and end with a period. Many, not all. Some titles use names of people for abbreviations. For example, D, capital D-R period, is the abbreviation for doctor. It's also the abbreviation, by the way, for drive. So you might live on a street where the last word is drive, and sometimes you'll see that abbreviated as capital D-R period. The title Miss is not abbreviated. So here we have Mr. Don Lee Chang, Mr. capital M-R period. Here we have Ms. Lu Lucy Ruiz, Ms. capital M-S period. Notice it's Ms. and not Miss. And then we have Mrs. Maya Levin. Mrs. is capital M-R-S period. All right. And initial is the first letter of a name. It is written with a capital letter and followed by a period, okay? So up above here, we had Mr. Don Lee Chang. Now we're going to use an abbreviation for his uh, middle initial, Mr. Don L. Chang, capital L period. And then we have, uh, earlier we had Ms. Lucy Ruiz, L period, T period, Ruiz. So the L was for Lucy, the T is for her middle name, and then her last name. And finally, we had Mrs. Maya Levin, and her first initial is capital M period, Maya. Middle name starts with an E, apparently, capital E period, and then Levin. Finally, the names of days and months can be abbreviated, but not all months are. May, June, and July are not abbreviated because they're so short. Days of the week. These are the most common abbreviations for days of the week. They're not the only abbreviations. And I'll talk about a couple of those. Sunday, capital S-U-N period. Monday, capital M-O-N period. Tuesday, capital T-U-E-S period. Sometimes you'll see Tuesday, capital T U. E period, okay, and even possibly T-U, but usually T-U-E. Wednesday, W-E-D period. Thursday, you can see that there, capital T-H-U-R-S period. Sometimes you'll see Thursday as capital T-H-U-R period. Sometimes you'll see it just capital T-H-U and then your period. And even some other times, you'll see it as capital T-H, period. Friday, capital F-R-I, period. And Saturday, capital S-A-T, period. All right. Now we also have months of the year, and they, are, they can all be abbreviated uh, if they're long enough. Anything over four letters, we can abbreviate. Uh, January, as you can see, J-A-N, period. February, first three letters. March. First three letters in a period. April, same thing. First three letters. August, first three letters. September is a little different. First four letters in a period. Sometimes you'll see it with the first three letters, but usually it's the first four. October, first three letters in the period. November, first three letters in a period. December, first three letters in a period. And again, May, June, and July are not abbreviated because they're already very short. Okay, directions. Write each abbreviation. Be sure to capitalize the letters and use periods correctly. Mrs. W. Wenders. Okay, now this one is almost correct. They have one small error. So if you think you know what it is, you could pause the video right here, write your answer, and then resume the video to check your work. All right, Mrs. W. Wenders, and I'm just going to make the corrections. Well, no, I'll, I'll write it. 
the one mistake they have here is after misses. Oh, sorry about that. Let me undo that. After misses, there should be a period. So it should be capital MRS period. And is it W Wenders? It is. W is the first letter of the first name. You get a period. And then the full last name, Wenders. All right. Number two, J.R. Burton. And on this one, there are four mistakes. So if you're comfortable, you can pause the video, write your answer, and then check your work with what I have. Again, four mistakes here. All right, here we go. J.R. Burton, capital J, and a period after that first initial. R, capital R, and a period. And then Burton. And we, that part was correct. There we go. J.R. Burton. Okay. Saturday, August 4th. And here I see one, two, three, four errors. And again, you can do this ahead of time if you want, and then check your work after you've paused the video, and then resume it. So Saturday needs to be capitalized. Capital S A T. So that was the first mistake. They do not have a period after Saturday, after the abbreviation, so we need the period. Now, the comma was correct, so we will have a comma because we always have a comma between the day and the month, okay? Now, August should have been capitalized. That's the third mistake. There was no period after the G. That's the fourth mistake, and then the number four, okay? Saturday period, Saturday, August 4th. So SAT period, comma, capital AUG period, number four. And finally, number four, Ms. T.J. Matthews. And I spy one, two, three, four mistakes on this one as well. Okay? So first mistake, Ms. should be a capital M. Second mistake, there is no period after the S on there, example. And then T should have a period, so that's the third mistake. And the last mistake, the J was not capitalized. It needs to be a J with a capital letter. And then we can write out Matthews. All right, so key things to remember. Capitalize it and a period at the end. Okay? And I won't make you do number five, but that's the review today. There will be another video for you to watch tomorrow. All right, boys and girls, as always, this is Mr. P, and I am out.